here is a look at Kalamata Beach in Kalamata, Greece. And you see it is surrounded by mountains all over the place. So the water here is really amazing, really clear, really clean, no seaweed kind of stuff in it. Kind of has a small beach town feel to this place. This is the main avenue along the beach and even here there's not any big hotels or chains uh, or anything along that line. Most of these buildings are, I don't know, four or five stories max. So nothing really huge here. I imagine sometime in the future maybe there will be, but right now it's a pretty small kind of place even though there's a lot of people here. And you don't see any chain restaurants like McDonald's or Burger King or Starbucks or Kentucky Fried Chicken or nothing like that. It's all local mom and pop Greek kind of places here. And the good thing about this beach, I think, is the setup with the umbrellas and the chairs. So any place you see these umbrellas and chairs, they're owned by the restaurant. So they're seating in front here on the beach. And then the restaurant is usually across the street. And so they cook it across the street, walk it over to you either on the tables here or you can even get your food or drinks right on the beach chairs and so you don't have to pay anything for the beach chair or umbrella as long as you're ordering something from the restaurant and that could be an iced coffee or a water even So this is what the side streets look like, even smaller buildings than the main avenue here and just a few blocks is the mountains again. Let's have a look at the water so you can see just how clear it is, like I said. And uh, the temperature is really great right now. It's not cold, it's not warm, it's just perfectly comfortable. Not like in uh, Florida right now would be actually warm or almost like soup, even at the beaches at this time of year. But here it's, it's very refreshing still.
You see, you can see right through the water, it's very clear. And the sand here is not, it's not really sand, it's kind of small pebbles, which are manageable to walk on. It's not like the really big ones that hurt your feet, but it's not like sugary sand, like say in Florida beaches or some other places. And I think that's some kind of port or something out in the distance. Some boats, docks over there. So we'll walk over there and have a better look at that. So here's a hotel, it's only three stories. Also the prices here are very reasonable, even for just eating on the beach. Pizza's 8.50. I ate on the beach yesterday. We had fried calamari and uh, grilled chicken and french fries. And it was 19 euros, something like that. And we still got the use of the chairs and umbrellas as well, so. So if you want to come to Greece and go to a nice beach place without having to go to the islands, Kalamata, I would highly rock recommend coming here. And I came here from Athens by bus at the Ketel Kifisu bus station and it is about 25 euros one way on a nice bus, air conditioned and all of that and it's about a three hour ride if you take the express bus, which there are a few of them every day coming here. Uh, there's a lifeguard tower there. I don't know if that guy's a lifeguard, but it's the first one I've seen. <laughs> uh, as for the water, it does get a little deep but the waves are not big or anything, so it's pretty safe to swim in, I would say. Thalassa, which means ocean or beach, I guess. It seems like there's not a big contingent of people from other countries like the the young crowd, the type of people that go to Mykonos, the island of Mykonos, don't really come to Kalamata, I would say. It seems like it's more, definitely more family orientated.
there are some younger people here, but uh, I'm guessing that they're probably mostly Greeks. I don't think, uh, you don't see like a big contingency of British or Dutch or Germans uh, coming over here. Although I did talk to a man who was here with his family yesterday and he was from Poland but he actually spoke Greek so that's the first time I've seen a Polish person speak Greek to me <laughs> so you never know who you run into over here So my place is like one block up from one of these streets, maybe a block or two over. And this place, Heiko's Hotel, looks to be one of the fancier hotels here, I would say. One bad thing about this area is there aren't any supermarkets. There's a few small mini markets, but the closest real supermarket is all the way at the other end of the beach and a few streets up. It's the AB chain supermarket, the Greek chain supermarket. So I think I'm going to have to walk over there. It looks pretty quiet right now, maybe because it's one o'clock and I don't know, maybe people are resting from doing their morning swimming and they're gonna come out later when it's a little cooler. So there you see, this town doesn't go that far before you start hitting the mountains. This is probably the other biggest, fanciest hotel. Austria. And even that one is only, what, f four stories, five stories. So this area is really relaxed, chill kind of area. You really don't need a car here. You're just walking to the beach, walking to a few stores, walking to the restaurants or cafes at night, or just strolling down the avenue later at night. And I'll do that also to get an idea of what that looks like. Kalamata seems like a really nice place to live, but not really sure how it would be in the off-season months. I wonder how dead it is in the winter or spring. And it is pretty remote. I mean, to get over here, like I said, it's three hours from Athens and it's just a lot of driving through really mountainous, sparsely populated areas.
salad, six bucks. Kebab, six bucks. Grill combo, small, 18 euros. Seafood, fried sardines, hello. <laughs> I'm just looking at the menu. We have fried the squid. Of the day here, if you want to see. Looks very good. Maybe I'll come back later. Oven baked pork, six euros. Sardines, I, see, I seem to see a lot of sardines fried sardines on these menus out here. I guess that's kind of a big thing. But there's a lot of good seafood. I imagine some of it is caught every day. There's some fishing boats a little bit further down at the dock, so maybe they go out in the daytime and catch fresh stuff for some of these restaurants. Here is some kind of little park slash amusement park for little kids. Has some kind of bumper car rides and things along that nature. At night there's a lot of kids over here playing in these things. Here's another pretty nice looking hotel, Fare Palace Hotel. And this one is two, three, four, five, six, like six stories tall. So probably the tallest one I've seen. Blocky bar is empty right now, but last night it was packed and Suvaki pork and chicken is only like 1.4 euros so dollar 55 something like that very cheap So here's some of the port, here's some of the boats that are docked, and under these bags are nets. Some of these boats look a little sketchy. I don't think uh, I would feel too good going out on something like this unless I had a, a really big life jacket. <laughs> And I think there are some kind of boat tours you can do. Messina sailing, fun sailing, echo tours. This place at night is packed. Right now, it looks like the town is deserted, but you'll see later on, eight, nine, ten o'clock, there's a lot of people here. So, there's some activities you can do out here, some tours. And if you don't know, 
Kalamata area is known for the best olive oil in the world. Now, some people may disagree with that. Of course, if you're from Kalamata, you're gonna say it's the best in the world. But even if you're not, I think, uh, I think it's reputation for having really good olive oil. I think, I, I know somebody in, in this area that I guess they, they raise olives and, and crush it to olive oil. And what he was saying is that a lot of the Kalamata olive oil is sold to other countries to mix with their olive oil because some of the other countries, their olive oil is a little too acidic. And so this is really non-acidic olive oil, so they mix it to bring down the acidity. That's what he said. I don't know. I'm no expert, but it sounded interesting. Fresh juice, Greek coffee, two eggs, toast with ham and cheese, rusk, I don't know what that is, Greek honey and butter, 10 euros. I don't know, it seems a little pricey <laughs> for two eggs and a ham and cheese sandwich and coffee. But uh, this is the end area over here where I started this video. There was still some distance to go to the end, but uh, I didn't start all the way from the end. So, but this is generally an idea of what this area looks like in the daytime, in the summer, end of August. So, it's not super crowded, it's not super expensive. The water is beautiful, the beaches are beautiful. The restaurants are awesome. The atmosphere is very relaxing. It's not dangerous. Uh, you see families let their kids run around over here on their own because it's very safe. And like I said, I think it's a, a good amount of the people who come here are probably Greeks from other areas of Greece. So it's one of those places that more locals kind of spot there definitely are people from other countries but like I said it's not the party crowd that you'll see on Mykonos or Ibiza or something along those lines so if you're looking for that don't come here but if you're looking for a really good Greek beach vacation definitely uh, put this on your list so now I'm gonna walk up to this Greek supermarket and see what that's like. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you think this is a good place to come for a vacation, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching.